I wrote It's Your World uh, because I kept talking to young people and hearing how curious young people are about our world, how engaged they are in thinking about our world, challenges, and how engaged they are in trying to solve those challenges, whether in their own communities or across the globe. I read a book that had a big impact on me when I was 10 or 11 called 50 Simple Things Kids Can Do to Save the Earth. And it empowered me with real practical suggestions of what I could do to make a difference on pollution and really on fighting global warming, even as a young kid in Little Rock, Arkansas. And I hope that It's Your World has that same impact on even one kid today, helps inform and inspire a young person somewhere to start making a difference on a problem that might seem small, but is probably part of a larger problem, and making a difference will help all of us. One story I think a lot about is a story of Haley uh, from Arizona. When she was seven, her dad was diagnosed with diabetes. Haley knew that if he started to exercise, if he ate healthier food, and if he lost weight, he could reverse his diabetes. And she went to her parents, she said, I wanna start making our family meals. And she figured out how to make foods that her dad liked to eat, but were also healthy and her dad lost weight and started to exercise and he reversed his diabetes. And then she thought, well, maybe I'm onto something and she launched an online cookbook to help other kids be their family chefs. And she did it through empowering herself and empowering other kids. We often take for granted uh, a belief that everyone knows what we all know, and that's just not true. Just because I may be aware of a problem or you may be aware of a problem doesn't mean that everyone is aware of a problem. What might seem small is actually part of a profound shift towards the progress that we all want to see in the world.